Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now this is a new week and remember, before we start every broadcast, the Lord has commanded us to call for that daily bread. So are you ready to join me right now? Say this with me, say, Father, today I receive my daily bread right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, praise God. Listen, these declarations are not just confessions. Or rather, if you know the true meaning of confessions, they are confession. But what I'm saying, not just confession, they are not just talking. They are not just things we are speaking. We speak because we believe. It says we have the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore we speak. Praise God. So when the Lord says, pray like this every day, it means because you believe, declare it forth. And I know that daily bread is coming to you today. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we honor you today. Thank you for an open heaven over us right now. Thank you for the ability to communicate your truth and to minister truth to the heart of everyone listening. I pray for perfect understanding. Beyond my words, let them hear your voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare every body lifted, every yoke destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Now we've been talking about who is Jesus and turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 16 Matthew chapter 16 now we started here some two weeks ago and you know when we got talking about this we've been trying to well thank you Holy Spirit for 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 your help and we've been trying to continue this series but it's just been one challenge or the other but thank god for uh, helping us and we are continuing on who is jesus now listen open your eyes open your understanding that the spirit of god will minister to you the one we are talking about is beyond a name he is beyond a man he is the one that when we speak about him he shows up so it is my prayer that as we continue this series the Jesus we are talking about will show up in your life. That's what I'm trusting the Spirit of God for. Because I know everything we talk about, when we talk about, I mean, any topic we talk about, faith is released for that topic. And now we are talking about Jesus himself. So let your faith be released to receive him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man. So Matthew chapter 16 and verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Now, don't think Jesus was having an identity crisis. Don't think Jesus was beginning to wonder, who am I really? No. He was asking this question. I told you when we started this series. He was asking these questions for their sakes. Not for his. He knew who he was. Praise God. Because he believed what the Father had said concerning him. But now, having been with these folks for a while, having, having started his ministry, and he's asking himself, okay, what do people think of me? Do they see what I see? Do they hear what I hear from my father? And, and you know the story. And they said, verse 14, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Right. Who do men say that I am? And, and okay, this is, the, this is the gist we've been hearing on the streets. You know, some say you are John the Baptist. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, some say you are Elijah. Some say you are Jeremiah. What? Jeremiah, what joins me with Jeremiah? Like, but he now say, okay, hold on, guys. What about you? Now, now, theirs is the most important. 
you know, as a pastor, whatever people outside say about you may be wonderful. But you'll be wondering, the people you sit with every day, what do they think? Not because you're looking for what to think so that you can think more highly of yourself. But you are wondering, have they caught the revelation of what Jesus is doing here? So that's what Jesus asked them, what about you? And, and guess what? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Praise God. And that's a powerful thing to say. I mean, in, 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 in their Jewish tradition, and believe at that time, do you know this was blasphemy? I mean, this, if for a man to say this of another person, it's blasphemous. And this can cost Peter his life. But he looked at Jesus and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And look at what Jesus said. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonas, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So Jesus just confirmed that, Peter, what you just said didn't come from your mind. Didn't come from your own observation, like, like physical analysis. No, it is my Father in heaven that made you see this thing you just said. Now notice, the Father made him see. And the, father, the same Father gave him the boldness to say it. Because there are times you will see something like, is this the kind, you know, you say, shh, 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 shh. I can't think like that. Eh? No, no way. Ah, do you know what I see? You're talking to yourself. I don't know if you ever had this experience. Do you know what you're saying? And I told you, I told you uh, many years ago, a friend of mine, the first time ever, you know, a friend, dear friend of mine showed me that scripture. Well, she just asked me, said, there is a scripture in the Bible that says, as he is, so are we in this world. I mean, I hushed that. I said, shh, don't say that. Because, man, you know what you're talking about? As he is, so I, no, don't say it again. It is like blasphemy. Don't even go there. But I later found that it was written, praise God. I'm like, whoa. When I found it, I said, what? I said, Lord, do you know this is written inside? Do you know this is here? Was this a mistake? <laughs> but as him, praise God. You know, that was many, many years ago. I, I just couldn't believe that God will rate us that high. I just couldn't believe. I just couldn't accept it. That, that God would make that kind of a mistake. I mean, he could have taught it. But not to write it black and white. Come on now. I mean, when John was writing that part, they should have just erased it. They come. Yeah, you know, I thought of even the translators. Like, how did they translate? How did they, how did they accept this thing? They could have thought, hey, this must be a big blunder. But I later, you know, when, when I began to really grow in understanding the word of God, understanding the mind of God, I realized he meant it, praise God. And that was not just all, Maraki You know, Jesus said in John chapter 17, he said, oh, grede he He said, that day, halabayaka, that the world may know that you sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Ah, when I, I read this scripture another time and I felt goosebumps go through. I mean, I just felt it all over my body. I said, what? This is what Jesus is asking God to do. Jesus is saying, Lord, let the world know. So, so now, now he is not talking about revelation because the world cannot receive revelation. He is speaking of physical evidence. So he is not talking about revelation knowledge. Because the world cannot receive that knowledge. And he is not saying that the church may know. He is not saying that my children may know. He says that the world may know. That you have not just sent me. But that you have loved them. The same way you have loved me. Ah, ah, 
Listen, we have not scratched the kind of life that Jesus carried in his heart concerning us. We have not yet. We are still in the periphery. You know, he said, I mean, you know, what do you mean periphery? Do you know, see, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> ah. It's, see, walking in Jesus is beyond performing miracles. Performing miracles is a byproduct. It's not the main thing. Walking with Jesus is, it, it is, the, is the personality formation that it begins to create inside of you. Listen, there is a courage you will have when you understand what Jesus thinks about you. You know, I was sharing a few, a few weeks ago, you know, in, 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 in our meeting. And then I said, there is, there is something so wrong about these people who, who call themselves, um, I don't know what they, what's the word now, Christo centric gospel preachers you know or christ-centered you know now now i say this with all carefulness what they are trying to say because because i'm not just looking at the definite the words the phrase now but i'm looking at their meaning because i've listened to some of them they try to say that every scripture in the bible from genesis to revelation is centered on Jesus so the purpose is Jesus and so any scripture that doesn't speak of the revelation of Jesus I mean it's 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 wrong now I look at them and I see zeal but I said they've not still come to the fullness of understanding because it's the truth the essence of the scriptures is not Jesus the essence of the scriptures is us the focus everything god is doing is not about jesus jesus is on god's side and the whole plan and execution and walk is about us you say what do you mean ah john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son now, who's more important in that equation? Is it the son that he was willing to give? No. It's the world that he so loved. Now, when he says the world, who's he talking about? You! He so loved you that he looked at Jesus and he, he looked at him with one eye and, and looked at us straight and said, I'm going to let you go. Kela <laughs> Bukusai. So, so think about it. So who's, who's more important? We are the center of his plan, brothers and sisters. We are the purpose of Jesus. It is because of us. He sent Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, these are the things we, we need to come to terms with. We need to come to understand the gospel is about us. Every scripture you read from Genesis to Revelation is about me. It's all about us, praise God. It's because of us Jesus did everything he did. You remember what Jesus said in John chapter 17, he was praying to the Father. He says, because of them, I sanctified myself. Because of who? Us. So Jesus could have just lived anyhow he wanted to live. But he looks at us because he knows how the Father values us. So because of us, you know, that's why I say, you know, I wonder when a pastor doesn't value his people. These are the people Jesus died for. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Value people. Especially those who believe in Jesus. They are too important in the eyes of God. You don't treat them anyhow. You don't shout at them anyhow. You discipline, yes, you correct. But remember, these ones are too valuable to God. He did. Now, let me tell you the truth. If you, if you will treat people the same way God will treat them, then you are bringing yourself on the same side with God.
And think about how much God wants to bless you. Because he's seen the extension of his hands. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, our time is up right now. Listen, I've got... Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just, just continue listening and listening and watching and watching. And the revelation of Jesus will envelop you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we all know you today. And I release everyone watching me into their day. And thank you for the great and mighty manifestations that will begin to happen in their lives right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.